Hi and welcome to my video playthrough of Undead Zone. This is a game created on Unity by Ian Davidson, Daniel McDonald and me, Jay Johnston, who is doing the commentary today. So I'm just going to talk through my game, what it is, what is the objective and just what are you supposed to do, <laughs> really. So this is an endless horde game where a zombies will try to attack the player and chase the player down. If the zombies touch the player, as you can almost see here, the player will take some damage and enough and if enough damage, he will die and he will go to the scoreboard scene and you will have to start from the beginning. So as you can see from the top right, once you reach 30 score on one level, you will Go to the next level and your health will reset back to 60. It is like this until you reach about level 5 or level 6 where you then need 50 to reach the next level. So the game gets increasingly more difficult because the score you need before your health resets and reach the next level becomes higher, becomes 30 to 50 and not only do you need a higher score to reach the next level as you get by the levels but you also need to deal with the different types of terrain and as you will see in some maps the terrain is very tight and very difficult especially in the later maps to try and make the game increasingly difficult at the moment there is just seven levels uh, because this is what we have had time to make in development so far. We have some future ideas that we would like to add for this game, but we have not had time so far to implement these, but we would hope to add these in the future and I will talk about them at the end. So let's talk about this game for a minute. So as you can see from the interface, we have on the top right, the score that you will need to get to the next level that will always tell you so if, if you need 50 score that will change to 50 uh, on the top left you have your actual score so it says you have 120 so that's your total score and if you get another 30 so your score becomes 150 then you will go to the next level you can also pause the game with the Q button which will just freeze the game in place, there's no menu, it will just freeze the game, so you press Q again to unfreeze the game. There's also a health bar and a tips for every level. So instead of a loading screen to tell you the tips, we have it actually on the interface. And here's the leaderboard here, telling you to start again or quit. Of course, I'm not going to play through the exact same thing again. I'm going to use the power of unity to load up a new level you have not seen before. So this is level 6 that I could not reach because I was not good enough. But here's level 6 as you can see. Because I have restarted it, my score has also restarted. But usually you will not be able to reach this level unless your score is at least 150. So I'm cheating a little bit because I loaded starting in level 6. But this is the level you will reach if you pass level 5. So talking about the tips feature a bit. So there's, there's, there should be different tips for each level. For example, it says here click your mouse to shoot. Then this level it says click your mouse to shoot because you can shoot very fast by clicking. But in other levels, it should say, hold in your mouse. You don't actually need to rapidly click it. You just need to hold it in, and then you can shoot even faster. And in this last level, you can't actually touch the walls. Because if you touch the walls in this level, your player will take damage, as you can see there. And finally, if you win the game, you will be sent to this screen at the end. I just displayed a, displayed a player score of zero because I have just loaded in the end screen. But usually you will need to get 250 to end the game. 